students of District 205, this is Dr. John Asplund. I'm here to address some questions I know some of you have. We've heard these questions from some of you, and uh, I thought maybe today would be a good chance for me to answer some of these questions for you, and then give you uh, an avenue to ask further questions at the end of this video. So, uh, we will start with question number one, social distancing. Why do I have to stay home when my mom and dad go to work every day? Well, uh, the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, here in the United States, is uh, recommending that we all practice social distancing, which is six feet away from strangers, from people uh, that aren't in your family, basically, not even just strangers. Uh, people in your family, you can, you can stay closer, obviously, as long as they aren't infected. Um, but basically, anybody else you want to keep social distance from, because uh, anything less than six feet, you have a chance of being infected with uh, airborne particles that uh, contain the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Virus. So uh, we want to make sure that you stay apart. Uh, your parents are going to work, and I'm sure they are uh, practicing social distancing while at work, um, not going out, not socializing, only traveling when you have to. Uh, there, there are those people that have to go to work. Uh, there are those people that can go to work from home. And uh, if your uh, people you know, or your parents, your family members are having to leave, it's because their, their work is requiring them to do that. Uh, what can I do when I can't go outside? Well, I, mean, I would think that you have a lot of things you can do, and I hope a lot of them involve your imagination. Uh, you don't have to be on a screen. I hope you're really not on a screen. Uh, those, those have their benefits at times, and obviously if we get into e-learning platforms, then we're going to have to ask you to be on a screen, but we want to keep those times to a minimum as much as possible. Read a book, uh, you know, make, up a, make up a story, uh, build a fort, uh, play with Legos. I love to play with Legos. so. Uh, filled with them. Uh, uh, you know, do, uh, do things that we used to do as kids that, you know, we didn't have screens and things of those sorts. So uh, we would uh, build things within our house. We would use the couch cushions to build a fort. We would, uh, you know, you can play in your yard. Uh, you just can't go any farther than your yard, unfortunately. Uh, try to get outside as much as you can, as long as you're keeping that social distance from people. Um, I think a big thing too is to make sure you're getting exercise. Uh, you know, do calisthenics in your house, uh, do jumping jacks, do push-ups, uh, you know, go up and down your stairs. Uh, anything that you can do to uh, try to get, some, get your heart rate elevated a little bit and get yourself some exercise, that would be good for you. Um, let's see, Dr. Asplin, do you sing a song when you wash your hands? I do now. Um, I like to sing the alphabet song. Uh, that makes it, you know, you want to go 20 seconds. And uh, you can either do it in English, I can also do it in Spanish. Uh, I had a wonderful Spanish teacher in high school who taught me uh, the Spanish alphabet through a song, so sometimes I'll sing that. Um, let's see, another question, when are we coming back to school? I do not know. Um, right now, we're out through April 7th. We are supposed to be getting some further guidance from the State Board of Education. That was supposed to come maybe today, maybe tomorrow. And uh, we're going to give you the information as quickly as we can. We don't have it right now. So um, the soonest we could come back is April 8th. I really doubt that will happen, but uh, stranger things have happened, so we will wait and see. But I would anticipate being out longer than that. Um, and then uh, you know that we've also put out surveys trying to ask to see if you have devices at home and making sure that you're ready in case the state comes back and tells us that we have to do e-learning. Right now it's optional. Uh, we don't know what the state's going to tell us to do, and we just have to be ready for whatever that reality is whenever the state gives us that direction. So, um, you know, sit tight and uh, wait for whatever messages we're going to give you later on uh, whenever we find out what those answers are. But at the beginning of this, I did promise that if you had further questions, um, here's the place to send those questions. Home learning, which is H-O-M-E-L-E-A-R-N-I-N-G, at galesburg205.org. If you have any questions about anything, send your questions to that email address and we will do our best to answer those questions as quickly as we can. All right? So hopefully you're getting exercise, hopefully you're reading a good book, hopefully you're spending time with your siblings and being nice to each other. All right? And uh, we hope to see you soon.